Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, the PMF of a random variable x is given by px of x is equal to 1 over 8 when x is, is equal to 0 or 3 and uh, the probability is 3 over 8 when x is equal to 1 or 2 and this is 0 otherwise. Find the cumulative distribution function CDF of uh, x, the random variable x. So we need to find the CDF from the given PMF. So this is the discrete random variable. So uh, we know that uh, the CDF is defined as fx of x for a discrete random variable. It is defined as the probability that x is less than or equal to some value x. So the value of the CDF function at a at, at this value x is given by the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to the probability of the random variable probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to that value x. So um, from this PMF we can see that the range of the random variable x is 0, 1, 2 and 3. We can infer the range of the random variable is 0, 1, 2 and 3. It can take on these uh, uh, four values. So let us write down uh, uh, the uh, let's plot uh, let's uh, write down these values and the PMF in this tabular form. This x can take on these values 0, 1, 2, and 3, right? So uh, the probability. Uh, for each of these values for 0 the probability is 1 over 8 right and for 1 the probability is 3 over 8 for 2 also the probability is 3 over 8 and the probability that the random variable x takes on this value 3 is again 1 over 8 so this is the probability distribution of the random variable or the pmf of uh, our given random variable so we can now uh, find out the uh, cumulative distribution function f of fx of x uh, from this uh, distribution. So for example, uh, fx of x at this point, at point 0, when x is equal to 0, this is 0. So it will be, according to this definition, the probability that x is less than or equal to value 0. So here, it will be equal to probability that x is less than or equal to 0. This is basically the value of the distribution function at 0. Then at this point, uh, the, uh, the value of the distribution function will be probability that x is less than or equal to 1. This is the value of the CDF at this point, right, at x is equal to 1. Similarly, at this point, it will be given by this probability, x is less than or equal to 2, probability that x is less than or equal to 2, and this is the value of the CDF at 2. Likewise, at 3, it, it will be equal to x less than or equal to 3, and this is the value of the CDF at this point, 3. So given this uh, uh, definition at each point, we can calculate the value of uh, the function fx of x at, at this point. So at, at x is equal to 0, we say that probability that x is less than or equal to 0. So less than 0, the probability is 0 because at any other point the probability is 0. But equal to, it also says or equal to. So at equal to it is 1 over 8. So here the probability that x is less than or equal to 0 is 1 over 8. Now, at this point, the value of the function uh, uh, distribution CDF is, is uh, probability that x is less than or equal to 1. The probability that x is less than 1 is 1 over 8, is equal to 1 is 3 over 8. So less than or equal to 1 will be 1 over 8 plus 3 over 8. So that is 4 over 8. Now at this point, the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 is it means that probability that x is, is equal to 0 or equal to 1 or equal to 2. So we add these three points together, all these three probabilities together. So this will be 1 plus 3 plus 3. So this is 7 over 8. 
right so value of the cdf fx at 2 is 7 over, 7 over 8 and and at this point uh, uh, it says that the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 so less than or equal to 3 so it means the probability that x could be 0 1 2 or 3 so we add all these probabilities together so this is 3 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 so this is 8 over 8 which is 1 right so this gives us uh, the uh, uh, CDF of uh, the uh, random variable X so we can uh, uh, actually write it in a similar manner like this in this form so it is represented like this fx of x is equal to so we see that x is 0 for x less than 0 right fx of x is 0 for x less than 0 so we begin by saying that it is fx of x is 0 for x less than 0 right and then uh, it takes on value uh, uh, for the interval uh, x uh, greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1 uh, it is 1 over 8 so it will be actually better if we first plot this uh, uh, CDF function so let's plot this CDF function first so it will give a better idea to write down the CDF from the from the plot so uh, uh, this takes on values 0 for example at this point then it is 1 then it is 2 and then it is uh, 3 and so on it can take on it uh, there are values uh, the definitive values exist 4 or and 5 and so on but it only takes probabilities on these values 0 1 2 and 3 only so so we're going to plot uh, the CDF. So at 0, the value of the function CDF is 1 over 8. So let's uh, just uh, say that this is uh, 1 over 4. This is 2 over 4. This is 3 over 4. And this is 4 over 4, which is 1. And this is our function fx, uh, fx of x, right? So at, uh, at 0, uh, the value of this function is 1 over 8. So this is 1 over 8 at this point, right? Then at 1, the value is 4 over 8, which is uh, 1 over 2, which is this value, right? This is 4 over 8 at this point, right? So it goes on like this, like a horizontal line here, and then it takes a jump at this point, right? And then at 2, the value is 7 over 8. The 7 over 8, so this is uh, uh, 3 over 4, this is 8 over 8, and 7 over 8 must be some, something something here, right? So, this is uh, 7 over 8, and then at 3, the value is 1, right? At 3, the value is 1, right? And, and like this and then it goes on like this the value onwards is always 1 so uh, looking at this table and from this uh, plot we can conveniently write uh, the CDF function here now so for X uh, greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1 right it is 1 over 8 like here then the next interval x greater than or equal to 1 and less than 2 less than 2 this is 4 over 8 that is 1 over 2 1 over 2 then the next interval that uh, x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than 3 the value is 7 over 8 7 over 8 right then for x uh, greater than or equal to 3 the value is 1 right so this gives us the 
uh, cumulative distribution function or the CDF of the discrete random variable X. So we can observe a few properties uh, uh, from the CDF. Number one, uh, it starts at zero and it ends up at one, right? And number two, the CDF always increases from left to right. It is a monotonically increasing function. It never decreases on the right side, right? It, it uh, begins from a small value and then goes on increasing on the right side. And uh, another uh, important property is that the length of this jump from here to here is equal to the property at this value at one, for example. So according to the PMF, the uh, the probability at one is three over eight so this is one over two minus uh, one over eight so this is three over eight this, ju this ju jump equals three over eight similarly uh, uh, at two the probability is again three over eight so uh, the jump at this point uh, seven or eight minus uh, uh, two over four is three over eight at three the this jump is one over eight right so the length of the jump is equal to the probability at that point. And the final point uh, about the CDF of the discrete random variable is that uh, it is a horizontal line between these jumps.